I like the adventure of it. I've been jumping in the ocean every single day since January 1st. I went for uh, my daughter's school. They were doing a fundraiser and I loved it and it was exhilarating. And I woke up the next day and I said to my husband, I'm gonna go again. And I did and then I woke up the day after that and the day after that and I just kept going because I just love how it feels like a rebirth, cleansing, exhilarating. The more she dove, the more notice she got and then she realized it was time to dip for a cause. The more that I kept doing it, people kept saying that I should find something to jump for. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, started going to the yoga teacher training, met Stephanie, um, learned about Recovery Build, and realized I found out what I want to jump for. So it's become more. Talia teamed up with Stephanie Bryady to raise money for Recovery Build, an after-school program Stephanie founded to help kids dealing with substance use issues. It's for students or young people with substance use challenges, other life challenges that they're going through, and we opened it up in April down in Hyannis at Peer Recovery. It's something, a program that it means a lot to me just to offer teenagers a safe, fun, sober space where they can learn more about substance use and other alternative behaviors like jumping in the ocean that can be just as exhilarating and more so. Inspired by Talia, Stephanie jumped in the water on Monday and went in again the next day. I'm just so honored to have Talia not only in the teacher training at Power Yoga of Cape Cod, but also my kind of inspiration. The day after we taped this segment, Talia was hospitalized with a minor infection and had to miss her dive. But in her absence, several others took a dip of their own to help keep her streak alive. And for Talia and Stephanie and all the others dipping in the water during these cold Cape Cod months, it's the challenge that keeps them going. That we can do hard things. That's it. It's that we can do hard things. It's just a feeling. It's actually more enticing for me the colder it is, the harder it is. We lose people, young people, too often. And this is a reminder that it's okay to be afraid and take the plunge and go for it and continue that commitment, never let up, and just continue to, you know, work as hard as we can to disrupt this epidemic. Talia was back in the water on January 30th, and she'll keep jumping every day. For Cape Media News, I'm Sarah Colvin.